Today, I'm gonna uncover five hidden features on your Subaru that you probably didn't know about. Now, if you've seen my previous video on five hidden features, these are a new set of five hidden features. So we're going to be adding to that list. I know you guys enjoyed that video. So I've decided to make another one uncovering more key details on your Subaru. Now, if you don't have a Subaru Outback like the one we have behind us, this is a 2023, don't worry because these features are going to be applicable to the other Subaru models as well. As always, if you guys have questions, leave those down in the comment section below. Include the year and the model of your Subaru. So if you have a 2020 Subaru Forester and you have specific questions about it, leave that down below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, please be sure to click the like button. It takes just a second, but it helps me out tremendously and it helps this video reach more people here on YouTube. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this one, sharing tons of valuable information all about Subarus. And something that even frequent viewers may not know about me is that I work in sales for a Subaru retailer. So I sell Subarus for a living. I get a ton of training on these and I'm around them every single day. So I get a lot of product knowledge. And with that, one of the most enjoyable things for me to do during the process of showing somebody a Subaru is all of the cool hidden features that they didn't know about. Even people who have owned Subarus for a decade or more, I show them some of these features and they are blown away. And seeing somebody's smile on their face and their face light up whenever I show them some of these cool features really makes my day. So that's what I really enjoy. And that's why I really like making these videos to share that information with you guys. So with that out of the way, let's pop open the hood. I'm gonna show you the first hidden feature on your Subaru that you probably didn't know about. Let's pop open the hood. And when we do that, I wanna show you something in here. So to release your hood, pull that right there. You have a fuse box here. Now, a lot of people know about this, but under the hood, you have more fuses and behind this door, there is a little secret. So be careful taking this plastic door off because there are plastic clips. There's one there, one there, and one in the rear depending on the year and model of your subaru it could be a little bit different but the same information applies so we're going to get this plastic covering off again be very careful with it you have a diagram here that shows you which fuses go to what what they're associated with and if we turn this around we have extra fuses and a little fuse puller in here to easily pull these out when we need to so I thought that was pretty neat because if you're ever in a pinch, you have a bad fuse, you've got some extra fuses there, easily accessible to get you back on the road. The second hidden feature I wanna show you guys has to do with something in the hatch. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our lift gate here and down below we have our cargo net. Now the cargo net is not the hidden feature, but what this cargo net does is pretty special. Something that I think is pretty cool and a lot of people should know about because if you're trying to buy the genuine Subaru accessories and you might find that maybe this one's a little more expensive than the one you might find on Amazon, there's a reason why. And once I show you this feature, you'll be glad that you had this cargo net versus some of the others in the competition. So what's so special about this cargo net? Well, the Subaru cargo net is actually two in one. So there's a cargo net on the top side and there's a cargo net on the back side. You can release them with these individual zippers. I'm gonna show you how each one works and what situations you would use them in. So the first one, we're going to release the zipper. You have little loops here. Those loop into place, there's a hook there and there's a corresponding hook on this side. And this is going to keep things contained. You would use this when you have a ton of gear back here. Maybe you're traveling. An example that I use all the time, I remember going to the beach just a few years ago, we opened the power lift gate and all of our stuff came out along with the beach balls and everything's rolling down the road. Well, to avoid that, you've got this little cargo net. That's gonna keep things contained, but you also have this pocket. So of course you're gonna be traveling with your furry friends, I'm sure, and they're gonna have their favorite toys with them. Maybe it's the Chubaru. You're gonna throw that in there. You've got your leash. You can throw stuff in here and keep that contained when you are moving. Now I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna unzip the backside and I'm gonna show you what that cargo net is used for. 
If you saw my recent YouTube short, you saw me talk about this and shout out to James. I wanna give him a shout out because he taught me something I didn't know. I thought you had to actually flip this around to be able to use this cargo net on the backside, but you don't. You just flip it up like this. So it's still hooked in place on either side. You unzip and you have these two additional hooks. If I can get it untangled here, you have these two additional hooks that hook into place, one over there and one over here. So this is how it hooks in. You just take that, put it around the loop, do the same for this side, and there you have it. It keeps things contained. So if you have luggage or gear back here, it's going to keep that from moving around. It's gonna keep it nice and secure when you're driving. By the way, if you guys saw this Subaru Love Pets box back here and you were curious what it was all about, it's got some goodies in there. Not gonna show you just yet. I've got a video coming up that's gonna talk about that in more detail. So if you're curious about what kind of goodies are in here and how to get your hands on one, then stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification down below next to the subscribe button. That will notify you when I post that video. So stay tuned. The third feature I wanna show you guys is on your touchscreen display. We're gonna swipe over to the second screen. It's called auto vehicle hold. Now, once I show you this, you're probably going to want to use it all the time, and I'll show you how to move that to the first page here in just a second. But let's talk about what this is, and then I'm going to show you a driving example of when you'd want to use this. So auto vehicle hold holds the car in place, holds the brake for you whenever you come to a complete stop. So you tap this on when you come to a complete stop, you have your foot firmly on the brake, you will see AVH up here flashing. You can then release your foot off the brake, relax, when it's time to proceed, when that light turns green, you just give it gas and go. So when would you wanna use this? You'd wanna use it at long red lights, maybe stop and go traffic, or even a long train. And this allows you to eliminate the need for putting it in park and decreases that delay between the time you're stopping and the time traffic is moving forward. So the guy behind you is not honking at you while you're trying to get your car back in gear. Now, how do you move this to the home screen? We're going to click and hold the app you can do this on any apps, by the way. And then you take that desired app, you drop it where you want. I always put mine in the lower left-hand screen. If you do have one of the newer Outbacks and you have the software update, this button is now static and it's down here by your, your auto start stop button. But for my car, I don't have that update, so it lives right there. And this always defaults off. So if I turn the car off and I turn it right back on, this is going to be off but I just tap it at the beginning of my trip and now it is on and ready to use when I need it. So now I'm gonna show you how that works in action. So here's a great example of whenever I use AVH a lot. In situations like this where we have traffic, there's lots of, lots of congestion and whenever you come to a complete stop and you're sitting there for a while, you can, you can rest. Once these vehicles come to a complete stop, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here we are, we're at a complete stop AVH is now flashing. You do have to make sure that you turn that on before. I just turn it on as soon as I hop in the car. So if it's lit up green, it's on. Now that that car is moving ahead, so I've had my foot off the brake this whole time, just give it gas and go. It releases the brake automatically. The fourth hidden feature I wanna show you guys has to do with your lights. Now in my last hidden features video, I talked about how your lights are steering responsive. So your lights will turn with the curve of the road or where you're steering. Now the second hidden feature with your lights is something called high beam assist. So whenever you put your lights in auto, so whenever you switch it over to auto and you put your left stock forward, so that's back, this is forward, your brights will come on automatically when it gets dark enough. And when you have oncoming traffic with headlights pointing towards you, your high beams will drop down. So that way you're not inadvertently blinding the people out ahead. I'm gonna do a driving test and show you guys how this looks at night. So my brights are on right now. If we come up on some headlights up here or even tail lights when it sees those tail lights out ahead, it will auto dim or, or go back down to your low beams so you're not blinding people. And then it pops back on just like that. This last feature is by far the most overlooked and the most hidden feature on your Subaru. It's been around for many years. It's not a new feature by any means, but Nobody knows about it. Even people in sales and service who work for Subaru are unfamiliar with this feature. I'm gonna uncover it and I'm gonna show you what it is right now. 
So this button that I'm getting ready to show you is hidden on the back side of the car and what it does, what its function is, is to allow you to unlock your doors if you ever lose your key fobs or maybe you're going hiking, you're going kayaking, you don't want the key fob to get wet or broken, you wanna lock your keys inside the car, you can gain access when you return with this pin code access. So the button is hidden down here in the lower right hand portion of your hatch or your trunk, depending on the car you have. You can use that button to lock the doors, but if you don't have your key, you can also use it to unlock. If you want more in-depth details on how to set up the pin code for yourself and how to use this on your car, click on the YouTube card above to the right. That'll send you the video I made talking about this in much more detail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got tons of value out of it. If you did, please remember to click the like button, subscribe down below, and comment below with any questions you have. As always, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.